Hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a practicing orthodontist as well as the co-founder of Trayminder. In this video, I am going to share with you a few tips that experienced orthodontists use to help their patients avoid refinements. The thing to remember is that your teeth actually do not 100% match the shape of your aligners. And that's because there is some give to the aligners so that your teeth do not fit into that form 100%. So in general, I will tell my patients that if you are on aligner number 20, your teeth actually look like they're on stage number 17 or maybe 18 because of that. What does that mean? It just means that your teeth aren't 100% the same as what is predicted. So the first thing I do for patients with severely rotated teeth is that I will purposely overcorrect the rotations. What does that mean? That just means that if your doctor uses Invisalign and they use a ClinCheck to show you what the finished product, some of those teeth are actually looking a little bit weird. They're over rotated, meaning that if a tooth is turned too much this way, at the end, I am going to turn it this is the ideal, I'm going to overturn it in order to let your teeth achieve that ideal finish, knowing that your teeth are actually a few stages behind where the predicted result is. The second trick I use is for residual spaces. For some reason, once my patients reach the end of all their aligners, some patients might have some residual spaces in random places. I don't like to leave those residual spaces because they are food traps and it's also annoying to get food stuck between some very minor spaces. So in order to avoid refinements, what I will ask my technician to do is to order me three over correction aligners called C chain over correction aligners. Those are three extra trays that I like to have at the end that will squeeze the teeth together. And so by having those three aligners, I may or may not need to use them. But if I find that there's one or couple of spaces at the end, I can give those over correction aligners to my patients rather than then having to get some new impressions or order new aligners that will take another four to six weeks to arrive, thereby saving time and avoiding that needed refinement. Another trick I use is to employ the use of IPR at the end of the treatment. The reason why I might want to order some IPR is for patients with triangular shaped teeth that may, have, that may be prone to having dark triangles. I can tell you a little bit more about dark triangles in a separate video, but basically a dark triangle is a little sesame size um, space that is near the gum line of uh, front teeth, usually uh, between the upper incisors or on the bottom incisors. Those can pop up and they are unsightly. So if that's the case, uh, then I would be able to do IPR on my patient and those gaps will be closed up and the dark triangles will be hidden. So those are that's another thing that I do to try to avoid refinements by anticipating the appearances of dark triangles and using IPR to take care of those findings. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a little insight into the orthodontic mind and a little understanding on why some of your clin checks may look a little bit different than the ideal. And simply that may be because your orthodontist is working smartly and strategically to help improve the efficiency and the clinical results of your case and thereby decreasing the need for refinements, decreasing treatment time, and improving treatment results. If you enjoyed this video and have learned something, please give it a thumbs up. This is Dr. Bailey. I will talk to you next time. Bye!